Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last part, we began to listen to Bujin's ramblings. In this part, let's finish them. Ancient's writing. Can you read it? I can't even make it out. This is no time for jokes. I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. What about it? There's a note written in chalk. Key. In the music box. It was probably written by a scientist who's been here. He probably used all his energy to make out these two words. Key. To what? And two words? I would expect that... Since this was directly translated from the Japanese version of the game, that the two words it's referring to are actually kanji. So I'm hoping that this is the case because key in the music box that's more like five words key to what i don't know but it probably has something to do with our riddle the riddle then it must have something to do with eris what does it mean that music box over there we'll put the key in it i'll go use the key you all wait here and that's why we got the ancient key, because without it, we'd have to go all the way back, find it, and then come all the way back here and give it to Bujin. And then we'd go through this. And watch closely what happens. Ho ho ho! What did I say in the last part? Pillar lowered. And water's flowing. All of this is very interesting, but what does it mean? Now, go inside. Hope may be inside, or... Or what? The fate of us? Is it bad? It's kind of laggy here, so... This was just a screen to project an image. Look! Look at the image projected on the screen of the water. Oh, not this again. Okay, we didn't get to see Sephiroth stabbing her. But her materia is glowing. A pale green, it looks. Yep. It sure is. It's glowing. Ho ho ho! It's pale green! Eris. Eris has already prayed for Holy. After I gave up the black material to Sephiroth, Eris's words came into my dreams. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth. And to do that, there was a secret here. That was Holy. That's why she had the white materia. Eris knew about here. And what she had to do. Eris has left us a great hope, but it cost her her life, her future. I'm sorry, Eris. I should have figured, out, figured this out sooner. You left us without saying a word. It was all so sudden, so I couldn't think. That's why it took so long for me to find out. But Eris, I understand now. Eris, I'll do my best. I'll, well, I'll do the rest, I should say. You something or other. It's we! We! Yeah, you don't have to do it all on your own, Cloud. You got people to rely on. The hope she left us. We've got to take a chance with it. Thank you, Eris. Eris's voice has already reached the planet. 
Just look at the glow of the white materia. But how about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? Something's getting in its way. Him. He's the only one that could do it. Who? Voldemort? Oh, wait. This isn't Harry Potter. Wrong reference. Sephiroth, where are you? Either way, let's get out of here. We don't need to be here anymore. And Sephiroth is at the North Crater, last we heard. Wait. What's going on? What the? Whisper, whisper. Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? You remember when the Junon Cannon disappeared? Actually, Ruffus moved it. Moved it? That big thing? Where? Why? Ruffus wants to destroy Sephiroth with it. That cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plan. So since the cannon is useless right now, he decided to move it. To a place where materia... No, where Mako is gathered. And where is that? Uh, where else? Clearly, Midgar. So they've converted the Sister Ray from a big gun to a Mako gun. Hopefully it's not as useless as Palmer's. That's why, Reeve, it's your job to adjust the reactor's output. I see. Ha <laughs> Don't worry about adjusting it, Reeve. Once you open it up all the way, everything will go full speed. Gah ha ha ha! The president sure done, done it this time. If we can only defeat Sephiroth, the idea that Meteor will also disappear is based on different objectives. Please remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fire Maka reactor powered shells. What, you want to raise? With the shells really... Will the shells really breach the far northern border? <laughs> of course. But Mr. President, please do not call it a Mako cannon. This new weapon will be called... The Sister Ray. And I thought it was already called the Sister Ray. Didn't you see it on the side of the cannon while Tifa was running down it? I swear it was. Anyway, we should be getting out of here. And I mean... Well, let's not talk about who Kate Sith really is amongst the Shinra people. Alright, we got just enough time for what is going to happen. Dang it, I need to stop that. I need to stop saying that. You know, re referencing the time. But anyway, that's getting off topic, so we need to get back to our high wind. Well, our high wind. Sid's high wind, I guess. It's technically his. And we need to go to Midgar to try to stop them from killing the planet even further. But wait, why can't we board the... Huh? Uh-oh. What? What the? Um... This is really the first of these. That's yeah, pretty cool. And that's where one of the weapons was hiding. And no, that's not... God, what's it called? I think it's Sapphire. I think. It's not Sapphire weapon, the one that was under the sea moving around. Oh no, that was Emerald weapon, actually. This weapon's even worse. What's wrong? It's a strange signal. From where? It's coming from this... person? Wow! Hey! 
That was a surprise. The controls went crazy. This ain't good. Weapon came out of the sea and is heading straight for Midgar. The new weapon should stop him, right? I don't know if it's ready or not. Hey, what's going to happen to Marlene? Don't you worry none. Marlene's in a safe place. She's with Eris's mama. Huh. Barrett. What was that scratching just now? As long as Marlene is safe, who cares what else happens, right? I've been itching to say this to you for a while now. When you blew the Midgar number one up, how many folks do you think died? That was for the life of the planet. You gotta expect a few casualties. A few? What do you mean a few? <laughs> what may be a few to y'all is everything to them who died. Protect the planet. Ha! <laughs> y'all sure sound good. Ain't no one that do go against you. So you think yet you can do whatever y'all want? I don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. Nothing I can do about that. Stop it! Kate Sith, Barrett, he knows what he did. What we did in Midgar can't be forgotten, no matter what the reason. Right? We haven't forgotten, right? I know you. You can't quit the company because you're worried about the people in Midgar, right? I think we're getting some hits here, hints here about who he is. Cloud? Okay, let's go. We'll beat Weapon ourselves. Hey, Cloud. You think we can win against that monster? We got a chance of winning, right? How would I know? But that's no reason for us ju to just let him go. We're going to Midgar and fight Weapon. Come on, let's move. And, well, that's what we're going to do. But first... A quick and rather funny little thing. Run into him. Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? Break the high wind? Let's fight it on the ground. Okay. Now, anyway, I'm going to land here. And save. Reason being, I'm going to cut the part off right here. And I'm going to wait for him. So guys, please subscribe, rate, comment, subscribe. And in the next part, we're going to take on... I just saved that file. Alright. We're going to take on... Diamond Weapon. So until then, I'm waiting for you, you bastard. Excuse my French.